Hi all, welcome to another session on Adaptive Cards. Adaptive Cards gives us the option to share information in a platform agnostic way using JSON. In our previous videos, we did see how we can share basic adaptive cards into Microsoft Teams using Power Automate. And we also see like how we can render images from different sources. So the images can be rendered in multiple ways in adaptive card like store it in a SharePoint document library and use the base64 image in the card. And we can also use the direct URL to publicly hosted files, but we just need to ensure that it, it works properly because direct shareable links in OneDrive, SharePoint, and some of the image hosting sites don't render uh, as expected. And we also saw like uh, how we can store images in Azure storage uh, as an image content within the card. So the link to the videos that describes how to use the SharePoint document library images and Azure Cloud storage images within Adaptive Card is uh, mentioned within the description. In this uh, video, we will see how we can use uh, the user profile images that is present within SharePoint as an Adaptive Card image so, as, so that we can send some good morning messages to users along with their user profile images. We can get direct URLs to user profile images in many ways. If we hit some of the URLs like the address bar, it actually shows us the image uh, for the user profile. And we can also try to use the Dell API. So previously we are using the userphoto.aspx uh, URL. Now we can use the Dell API to get the user profile image as well. And even now this time it's actually showing the user profile images. However, if we try to use the direct URL as a URL linked within adaptive card, the problem is that we do not get it rendered within the adaptive card. When we send it as a message to Microsoft Teams, you can see that uh, you get an error where the image is not being rendered. So in order to actually ensure that we pick the right user profile image using the right method, we will try to see how we can do that using Power Automate in this uh, demo. So we will uh, get started with creating a scheduled flow flow that runs on every day, which will send a good morning message to the user along with the user profile image. That would be the business scenario that we are trying to implement uh, in this demo. Now we will add an action to the flow, which will help us get the user profile photo with the get user photo v2 version of the action. And as a UPN, we will just add in the email ID. And next thing is that we will be getting the photo, which we will have to convert into a base64 image so that we can use it within the adaptive card syntax. To do that, we will add a compose action. And the input for the compose would be the get user photo content, but we will need to use the expression base64 to convert it into the corresponding base64 format. So we will just add the expression and from dynamic content, we will add the image file content as the input. Thus, the compose action will output the base64 formatted image content, which we can now use it directly in the post adaptive card action. So we will retain the post as a value as flowboard and in post we will select it as chat with flowboard and we will also add the uh, recipient name. Finally, in the adaptive card, we will add the JSON that we will be using to structure the content that we will be using as the message or the card that we will be sending to Microsoft Teams. Now, as you can see, we will have the output from the compose action added here, which is the base64 formatted image. So, the data image slash PNG base64 indicates the type of the image. Along with that, we will also add the formatted uh, image content, uh, which will act as the input parameter for the URL attribute. Now, this way we will have the first element within body as the image, followed by that we will also have a rich text block, which shows the good morning message that will be appended along with the image uh, in the adaptive card. So that forms the body of the adaptive card, which is the main part of the adaptive card that defines like what is the structure of the adaptive card and the content that goes into the adaptive card. The remaining three uh, attributes, that is the type adaptive card is the usual root object of the root of the 
uh, adaptive cards index and then we have the schema and version which again defines the corresponding uh, schema and version number of the adaptive card that we are using uh, we can even increase this to 1.4 which is again supported with microsoft teams we will just uh, click on save to update the flow and we will now test it out using a manual trigger since it is a uh, cloud flow that uh, since it is a recurring cloud flow we will uh, test it out manually click on done so we can see that the flow has run successfully and the adaptive card has an output which indicates a status code of 201 which indicates a success now we'll just go ahead and see if uh, we have got a message and we can see that there is a card which has come from power automate and you can see that the user profile image has now been successfully picked from the user profile action and the good morning message has also been appended to the card which has now formulated a good morning adaptive card which is now sent to the user and it will be repeated on a daily basis so we did see like how we can query user profile and get their photo and use that within the adaptive card so that we can use it as a good morning message and uh, we will see like how we can extend the usage of adaptive cards in the upcoming videos using a real case uh, business scenarios so that's all for your time and we will see you soon in another video